Let's take a look at some of the more complex aspects of certain features in Enable Features. There are four particularly complex aspects of Enable Features. Features that require other features, features that require additional steps to use, features that require multiple steps to disable, and features that cannot be disabled. First, let's look at the features that require other features. In this chart, you can see some of the main features like this. In the chart, parent features are the ones that are needed to support other features, while the features that they support are the child features. While most of the child features have just one parent feature, notice that certain child features need two parent features. On the other hand, notice that the parent feature, Partner Relationship Management, supports two child features. Another interesting parent-child feature relationship that is not on the chart is with the child feature approval routing. In order to use approval routing, you would need to enable both purchase orders and either purchase requests or expense reports. Second, there are features that require additional steps to use. In other words, when you enable these features, they don't automatically start doing what you would expect them to do. The following features fall into this category. You can see the specifics of what additional steps accompany each feature in our blog on this topic, which you can find linked below. Third, there are features that require multiple steps to disable. One of these features is multi-subsidiary customer. According to Sweet Answers, in order to disable this feature, you would have to reverse or delete all transactions related to customers and their secondary subsidiaries and remove all secondary subsidiaries from customer records. Another of these features is accounting periods, which you cannot disable as long as there are any accounting periods in your NetSuite instance. Multiple calendars, which is only available in one world, can be disabled only if you have not assigned any new fiscal calendars to subsidiaries. And if you have been using the feature Extended Accounting Period Close Process, then you would need to make sure that all accounting periods have the same period close status and that all period closing tasks in the primary and secondary accounting books, all accounting books, have the same closing status in order to disable it. And disabling advanced shipping requires that all fulfilled sales orders are billed first. Finally, there are features that simply cannot be disabled once you have used them. The main features that fall under this category include multiple currencies, dynamic allocation, statistical accounts, and advanced taxes. Another of these features is multi-location inventory. Although this feature is unique in that it could actually be disabled, just not by the NetSuite administrator at your company. The only way to disable this feature is by contacting NetSuite customer support. To learn more about these complex aspects of Enable Features, check out our blog on the topic, browse through the Enable Features page in NetSuite, and search for the relevant features in Sweet Answers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by hitting the like button. And to learn more about how SuiteRep can help you with all of your NetSuite needs, visit us at SuiteRep.com.